We used to play the army and navy. We did a lot of gigs. We got a bit of a following back in sunny old Essex. Well, it wasn't quite Seattle, but we thought that it was cool. And I had a really good time throwing my guitar against the wall. Yeah, I love Nirvana in 1995. It had been about a year or so since Kurt Cobain had died. Their history repeats itself from fashion turns around and they've invented a genre called New Grunge now. After New Metal, New Rave and even New Folk. You can pigeon out the music, but the music never stops. You got jazz, soul, star, punk, classical guitar. You got hip hop, electro, drum and bass, bluegrass and avant-garde. But there's someone there to sing along. There'll be someone else to hum it. I don't think I mentioned reggae yet, but I really like it. After listening to Nirvana, I started listening to rap. I used to love Snoop Doggy Dog and the Wu-Tang Clan. I think the first time I heard techno, I was into my late teens. I was at some raving Luton on a really banging E. And I'd dance all night to the music. And then I would go home. I'd lay in bed the next day and listen to the Counting Crows. My mum raised me on the Beatles. She said Paul McCartney was God. So I learned pretty early on the importance of a song. But history repeats itself. And fashion turns around. Just look at Paul McCartney now. Now. Well, you got rock and pop, rock and roll, rock and rockabilly. You got Detroit House and Acid House, Brit Pop and Indie. But there's someone there to sing along. There'll be someone else to hum it. I don't think I mentioned reggae yet, but I really like it. Come and get your CDs if you want them. Or not. See you later. Beans on toast. Thank you so much. Get the CDs in the merchandise tent over here.